on PLT3, uh, it, it it doesn't look like the laptop is turned on. I could see the white LED is on at the power jack connection, and I could also see that the green and amber lights for the the Ethernet are also uh, on. But all other indications show that the, uh, the laptop computer is off. I don't, I will copy all. And could you press the power button on the laptop? Uh, Roger that. I'm powering up, and I I see good display, and it is in the process of booting up now. I don't. Thank you very much for your all the troubleshooting, and that's uh, all for what we would like to ask you. Thank you very much again for today's troubleshooting. Uh, my pleasure, Scuba. Uh, shall I close the lid to the uh, PLT3? Yes, Don. You can close the lid of the PLT3. Thank you. Huntsville Station on two. Uh, are you ready for me to put Astro Bees to bed? That's a firm, Don. We're ready for you to do the activity. Okay, and I see it. it's just straightening up the stuff I moved this morning. Do you need any power cycles, uh, anything powered off on the Astro Bees themselves? And that's a negative, Don. You're correct. You're just going to go and move those items that you uh, removed for stowage earlier, put them back where they were. I'll be that. Houston Station on two. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, I heard you had something for me on my iPad. We do. Uh, for your primary iPad, you have a, the CCE event tonight. We don't know what iPad you're using, but uh, whatever time is convenient for you, just let us know what time you think you'll be able to put 1077 onto CrewNet, and then we're going to uninstall and reinstall Optimus. So maybe that's after the Crew Choice event. Maybe that's now. Maybe that's later tonight. Just let us know what time you want. You plan on putting 1077 on CrewNet so we can recycle it for you. How does now work? Copy, as long as you don't need it, it's going to take about an hour. That's no problem. I can use the uh, other one to uh, do the uh, crew choice now. Okay, copy. Yep, yeah. uh, 1077 is going into CrewNet shortly, and we will have some folks re reinstall your Optimus. I appreciate it, and I can confirm that 1077 is in CrewNet. And I uh, just want to add on that I dropped a picture of my elephant trunk on SSC7 that you requested earlier. Copy. Thank you so much. We'll be looking for that. And you haven't moved it at all lately, have you? You just left it alone for the past couple of days. I know it was out of the crew lock. Uh, it got moved back into the crew lock this morning. That is super helpful as we assess sensors. Thank you so much, Nick. Got it. And just slow Unit down. We love what your station. electronic is right now. I am to please. Don, we are with you on two. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I'm looking at the acoustical monitor uh, tasking, and I was uh, wondering if uh, I could go ahead and work that task now instead of waiting after the DPC. 
And Don, that's affirmative, so you can stop the measurement of the device. I copy that, and, and I'm just looking at the search note. It says uh, Tim Stowe in Columbus. I'm assuming uh, I could just put it someplace and, and we'll uh, download the data possibly uh, tomorrow. That's affirmative, and tomorrow morning we have also another setup measurement, and the setup in the morning and the measurement of the Metal 3D printer. So basically tomorrow we will do the same stuff again. So it's just a temp stow overnight. Uh, copy that. Uh, I will put it on uh, port MWA in Node 2. Uh, that's a good place uh, to set these up and change out the batteries. Okay, Don, great. That's a good proposal. And uh, just to close it out, the data transfer will then be tomorrow in the afternoon. Copy that. So, so what I will do is stop the current beta logging and power the acoustical monitor off, and then uh, tomorrow morning new batteries can be put in, and and it could be uh, uh, deployed uh, wherever the measurements need to be made. And Don, that's a very good understanding, and it will be the same place as it is today because we are repeating the measurement for Metal 3D. Oh, copy that. So I have it in, in order to get the monitor 0.6 meters out in front of the rack. I put it on an extra long ball stack. Uh, I will uh, leave that ball stack in place so that it can be returned to the same location tomorrow. That's great. Thanks a lot, Don. And I took pictures of it. I, I think I put them on SSC7 that, that showed the, uh, the uh, uh, location of the acoustical measurement. And Don, we copy SSC7. Thanks a lot.